Hello, my name is Rebecca Young. I am a nurse here at Stony Brook Southampton Hospital. I am also the patient navigator for the regional Tick-Borne Disease Resource Center. As a patient navigator, I am here to answer your questions and discuss concerns regarding tick issues. Issues that can include how to remove a tick, prevention, tests, lab results, doctor referrals, and persistent sickness. I have many frequently asked questions and one of them is, I have a tick on me, what do I do? The answer really is to remove that tick as soon as possible. We here at the Resource Center recommend using fine tipped tweezers, grabbing the head near the skin and giving a firm tug to pull it out. We do not recommend putting anything on the tick as that will increase the likelihood of infection. When the tick has been removed, the next thing that we recommend is having it identified, which is different than having it tested. You need to know what type of tick it is because each tick has a slightly different medical protocol. Another very frequently asked question is what do I do after I pull the tick off and identify it? We recommend that you watch for signs and symptoms of sickness or rash for 3 to 30 days. Now that can include what they call a bullseye rash, but any rash around a tick bite is something that a doctor should see. Flu-like symptoms include fever, not feeling well, loss of appetite, and that should also be reported to the doctor. Many times people think, oh, it's nothing, but if you've been bitten by a tick and you're suffering those kind of symptoms, then you need to bring that to your doctor's attention. I am here to help you year round, because remember, tick season is year round.